we are here at the seat of change for food lovers market this week and really my expectation in this program but mostly it's just to understand the, and gain insights around the market and the trends that we're heading to as a country but also some of the expectation that buyers are looking for from suppliers and be able to understand how I need to position my brand in order to be retailer ready. It's not that your passion is going to change but what you thought you were going to do with your passion is probably going to change depending on how long you've been going. We're big uh, customers and we're threatening little suppliers so we said no, let's spread our eggs a bit and we opened our first store and we opened Fruit and Veg City in Kenilworth in Access Park and that was our first store, it was about 700 square meters and from day one it just flew. We tend to think that these people are robots and they're actually just human beings um, and that I realized today. But what a lovely experience uh, meeting these guys. I mean, they are experts in what they do and to learn from them is, is what a great opportunity. How can we actually train communities in sustainable beekeeping, conservation, provide them with implements, set up bee sanctuaries and then buy back the produce from them in order to improve their livelihoods. What a fantastic product, what a great presentation. Porsche, well done! <laughs> it's the communities that are really going to be benefiting totally. It's the bees that are going to be benefiting. Because for us it's saying if we can maintain a 90% occupancy rate in the bee sanctuaries, then we have won. Because honey is just a gift from the bees for all these things that we are putting in place to protect them. And from Food Lovers Market's point of view, from our values and what we're trying to achieve and how we're trying to touch lives and change lives, it ticked all the boxes. It was a fantastic initiative, so well done to everybody and well done to all the participants. This is something that is priceless and I'm truly grateful for Food Lovers Market and the Social Enterprise Academy for giving us this opportunity.